Okay, now you can see you can see my screen, yeah? Yes, we can. Okay, let me first change this layout colors. I had made them black because I was I wanted to print it to print when they are in black. Uh, my question was, uh, you see, whenever I try to to print, eh? mm. right position you see i i don't know but i lost you i was not hearing you uh, are you getting me now yes i can get you now uh my query was on uh, fitting the printout that i wanted on the page uniformly if i want it in the center mm -hmm. when it comes out when it's in the center and then another one these photos these logos Mm. When I put them in, you see, like this one, when I click, I can position it the way I want. But when I come to this one, you see how it's behaving? Eh? Mm. It's it's disturbing to center it in the appropriate position where I want. Okay. Yes. Uh, printing? For printing, you, you can go to, to the page setup manager. Okay. It's an option I write... of the plot. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Okay. I come here. Mm, Load. Setup manager. Setup manager. No, first Page go back to the setup manager. Okay. Page setup manager here. Yes. Modify. Yeah. Modify. Then I come here. Did I will give that's okay? This one is also okay, right? Paper size. Mm. So I come to layout. Where do I go? Um, I think by default it will center it. You see that center to the plot is the one that you're supposed to tick, but it is frozen out, meaning it will center it. It's here okay. on your left. On my left. Okay. Where I think X Y. X Y. Okay. Then there, so that one is supposed to be like active, eh? mm. but in case it is not active, it means that by default it will center the plot. I don't know. You first click on the preview and we see. Okay, preview. It's going to come out like this. Mm. Okay, I think now this time around it has centered. When it when I check on the previous worker that I sent you, let me check in the group. But it will center by default. Okay. Yeah, Pavin, let, let's hope you can hear us. Thank you for joining. We're just waiting for a few more people to, to join, then we it's get okay. Yeah. Yeah, I can hear you. All right. I'm looking, I'm trying to look for my PDF that I did send in. Send in. An email. It's here. It's here. You may have to reshare. I think you share the program on. Have you have you opened it? Yes, I've opened it. You see now it's you see eh? 
it's you it's you not have different. you have to reshare like you shared on a program eh? so we can't see where you are unless you share the screen so you can stop sharing and share again. First, stop sharing. Then, when you go to share again, you share the entire screen, not just the one program. Sure. Yes. Uh, I I've stopped sharing. You now you share again and you choose the first option. Yes. Now I've used the first option. So you can go. You can open a PDF. Uh, anyway, as good enough, I've, I've showed you, it will send a bite. Okay. Mm. Okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll try it again, eh? Mm. Okay. okay. <clears throat> then the next question to. was about uh, logos. That, yes, the logo. That may depend on the way you, like, imported them. Did you import them from, from the layout or from the model? Uh, now what I did, mm. uh, I had this logo on the computer. Mm. Just like when I come here, image, image, uh, attach. Mm. Then I come to, to my desktop. Let me identify which is which. Maybe okay, it's in now. Mm. Then I say okay. Then I click. Mm. Now this time around, it shows that. Okay, it depends. Remember when you are in the layout, eh? you yes. double click and access the model. Mm. Then when you want to, to go out of that, what do you do? You well, click yeah. outside. I click outside. Yeah, so now if you import after double clicking outside, eh, it's going to put it on the layout, like it's not going to put it inside the model. Mm. Yeah, so when you want to, when you put it, uh, I don't know if you're trying to get the difference, like when you're on the layout, eh, remember you have a viewport, then you have things which are not in the viewport. Yes. So you have to be keen on where you place it. Are you placing it outside the viewports or inside the viewports? Okay. When it is outside, it mm. means that in order for you to be able to interact with it, you just double click outside, then you'll be able to interact with it. Now like the Out, Outside in the gray environment. Yeah. Then when you oh. try to interact with it, it has to be active because you, like you outside the viewports, eh? But when you double click in the viewports, it will not be active because you will be accessing the model. Mm. Yeah. But I think even now it has uh, behaved in a different way. The, the other time it couldn't, even when I try to center it just like the way you're seeing here, mm. it could come like the way I wanted. I think now it's more, more okay uh, than the other time. Any other question before we we start on? I think those are, those were the two things which I had 
that were giving me some hard time. Mm -hmm. Yes. All right. Maybe you can first stop sharing and we just okay. get started. Yeah. Okay, good afternoon, everyone. Let me hope you can hear me, Kevin and Ruth. Ruth. Maybe you can just send a message in case you, you can't talk. Yeah, but we carrying on some training. Yeah, it may be, maybe you may be interested or you have a friend who is interested or maybe in the company where you're working from, you may be having your your work as interested yeah so we're carrying on a training starting with autocad but we also train other software yeah i'm not doing this alone i do it with a uh, hand though now is not like around yeah so we generally looking at uh people who are let's say you in a pos in a managerial position but you receive card drawings yeah, so it will be an advantage to you where if you could alter those drawings or even edit. But if you just sent to you, let's say, PDF and you want to change something and you can't, and you have to depend on maybe the card specialist, that can create delays. But if you can also interpret, but also you can be able to modify those drawings, then that can be very good. Then other people like those that have just left campus, when they get these skills, yeah, someone can land a job as a like a card technician or a drafter. Yeah, but in case, even if you already have the job, these skills are, are good to have. If you've, you've been in the working environment, you know it is always better when you have the card skills, not only AutoCAD, yeah, but AutoCAD is like the starting point. From AutoCAD, you go ahead to add on, uh, most people are using ArchCAD. We also train it, but we're mostly concentrating on our Revit. Revit architecture and Revit structure. And then from there, we also train the renders um, using SketchUp Pro, the 3D renders, rendering. Yeah, then another software now for project managers, we add on uh, Microsoft Project and Primavera. Yeah, so for today, it was just a, we just want to do a small showcase of what you can do with AutoCAD and also Abibul. Show us, you tell us about what he has learned because I've, I've, uh, we've trained him and he can tell us the difference before we train him and after we've trained him. So let me share my screen. Hope you can see the screen. Yeah, so some of the things you can do with AutoCAD yeah, you can do plans. Those are like the civil drawings. You can be having uh, these plans, elevations. Yeah, so we're looking at you can do this or someone can send you this and maybe you are the manager or like you're in a certain position where you, you have to alter the design. So instead of waiting for another person to do it, you can do it by yourself or even it's kind of like, you may try to first change and see how it's going to look like. Yeah, or maybe even doing the final edit and waiting and depending on another person. And it's very easy to interact with the drawings if you have uh, AutoCAD skills. Yeah, so let's say if you already know about layers, you know that I'll be able maybe to turn off the windows and I look inside, things like that. But if they send you drawings and you don't know how to interact, with the drawings, or you don't know how to create the drawings, it may be very hard for you to go to the very nitty detail of understanding these drawings. Yeah, then not only in the like civil and construction field, but also AutoCAD can be used also on the road projects. Yeah, of course, they mostly use civil 3D to come up with like junctions and all that. But when it comes to detailed drawings, where you're going to draw certain structures in detail, then it comes to AutoCAD. Let's say you have to draw a cabstone in detail, you have to draw the drainage system and showcasing how 
like all oh, the bars and everything is going to be laid out. That is done with AutoCAD. Yeah, so even if you're on road projects, the AutoCAD skills are still valid. Yeah, then, so this is just uh, a road junction, which was done in civil 3D, imported here, but then using AutoCAD, you can do detailed drawings of these different structures. Right here, it is just showing that here we shall have a cobstone, meaning there is a zebra crossing. But using the AutoCAD skills, you can go ahead and you do detailed drawings of uh, any of the structures. Yeah, then also there is um, M and E, that is a um, mechanic and electrical. Yeah, things to do with um, electrical drawings or electrical layouts. Where are you going to, to place, let's say, the power distribution units, the generators, in case you have them. Then it may also be to do with uh, like CCTV, the locations of uh, those cameras. It may be done with, uh, let's say, smart switches in case there is a uh, there is need for access, eh? how people are going to access like the structure. All those can be done with AutoCAD. Yeah, so this is an example of uh, a certain layout and it has a CCTV and some electrical drawings. Yeah, so th that is for 2D, like it can be used in very, very many areas. And you know, if most especially people are in managerial positions, you never know the project you're managing, especially in construction. It may be civil, it, sometimes it may be mechanical or electrical, it can be telecom, it can be any other field. So if they share with your drawing and uh, maybe you don't know how to, move around with them, it may be very hard for you. But if you have the AutoCAD skills, you can even come up with different designs or you can even go on to alter those designs. Yeah. Then after AutoCAD 2D, uh, those who are interested, especially the mechanical, the mechanical ones, but you may also be interested. Also in AutoCAD, there is 3D. So this this is the one to deal with uh, like designing, uh, mechanical-like structures, but in 3D. Yeah, so AutoCAD doesn't only do 2D, but it also does 3D. I just wanted to showcase this, but uh, most of our concern is on 2D, and uh, mostly concentrating on civil, uh, like the building, concentrating on buildings, then roadworks, M and E, and then also telecom. Yeah, so, those are some of the examples of the things you can be able to do with, uh, with AutoCAD skills. One, you can create drawings. So you learn how to create professional drawings. Then two, you learn how to edit and format those drawings or even alter them. So now that means if someone shares, you can also be able to change. You don't have to wait for them. You can change and send it back to maybe another team member. Yeah, so before we move on to uh, Habiba again, is there any question? Maybe the way we train, um, most of these trainings are online, but in case there is an arrangement, let's say in, in the company, you want people to be skilled, we can come physically to the company and train them. Usually the training is, we give a stretch of one month, yeah. Then during that one month, within a week, we can do like two days of the training. Then we ensure that when we train you, we give some time to practice because it's not just about training, training, training. You have to, you learn, then you have to practice, you learn and, and we practice. But after a month, yeah, if you've been consistent, I'm very sure you can be able to produce a lot of things. And then the charges, yeah, right now it's uh, 500,000. Uh, like batch that is for AutoCAD 2D. Then the other programs have also different ways of pricing. But if someone is a student from school, we give them a discount. They have just left campus, especially those ones which are not, not yet working already. So there, there is a big discount for them. Yeah, then these uh, during the sessions, we record we record the sessions, then we upload them on Google Drive and we share them on your email. So when you're practicing, 
you can refer to those uh, recorded sessions. Yeah. So any question? Maybe there's no question. Abibu, are you there? Then for payment, payment method, you can first deposit like 200,000. We do the training, then you pay the other money as we, we continue the training. Or you can say for me, uh, this is how I, I feel comfortable paying. Yeah, and we go with uh, your payment method. Then also we give out a certificate of... Uh, that is a certificate of completion, but it's not it's not that it is uh, approved anywhere. But our target right now is to ensure that people get the skills and later on we shall look at into registering and see that we get the certificates which can be recognized elsewhere. Yeah, so there are no questions. I think Abib, we can get back to you. Okay, thanks for the presentation and the initiative to see that uh, when you shine, you make also others shine. Uh, that is a credit to you. And I encourage everyone to join and get those skills. I hope everyone can see my screen that I'm sharing. Yes, we can see it. Okay, so uh, I started the training with some basic uh, uh, with some basic drawings practicing from, from AutoCAD. As um, my student has notified everyone that AutoCAD, as long as you are into the engineering sector, maybe someone is going to share with you a drawing, you need to review, or at the time you're going to become a draftman. You might be having a lot of free time as a project manager, but you end up becoming your own draft draft man you send some people in the field they collect the data when they collect information you come up with the drawings they check and then you confirm so when i started the training i started with uh with knowing the the the, the, the these toolbars every section like when you see drawing modify annotation layers blocks properties grouping utilities clipboard and then the this so when i went on using all those tools i was able to do uh, around 19 numbers in some of the things which they are going to give you you learn how to interact with the lines after doing all that i was able to come print my work and after printing my work also i didn't stop there i came up to when i print out my final drawing. But all the time, when you try to look at these components that I did do, these components are mechanical components. And I think in AutoCAD, the most um, components to come up with or to the drawings to come, to come up with are the mechanical drawings because they have a lot of curves, they have a lot of circles, they have circles that are having tangents, they have inscribing and circumscribing circles, whereby you trim and you remain with the product which you need. So I, 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 I made 20 numbers. When you see these numbers, you come from the simple ones up to when you reach uh, the complex ones. If you try to see, someone might ask uh, a question, how can I come up with such a drawing? Because you see it has circles whereby even you cannot see the radius. Where did you get it from? Uh, having completed this assignment, uh, my target was, as Mansuri notified you, that the target is guys in civil works, doing the buildings, doing the designs for road junctions, or even roads uh, per given section. You will need to use different programs, come into AutoCAD, make a details of those uh, components to make others also get the information and implement what the client wants. So after getting all this done, my target was interacting more with the telecom uh, uh, related drawings. 
And I'm going to display some of the drawings which we use in telecom. When you try to see, this is the model space. Just like, just like the way you've seen my model space, it's having a lot of components. When you try to see, we are having the details of the foundation. If I try to zoom in more, you see the layout as we're going to see in the table of content. You have the layout, you have how the tower looks like, you have how, uh, how the power, power cables will be laid, you have how the solar will be aligned. So all that, you might be stuck, you want to edit something, or you, one day, one time, you're going to be the one drawing those uh, given, given details, coming up with the drawings for the tower or for the building. So having went into the training, then uh, when you try to look here, the model space, you see it's having a lot of components. Just like when I click on my, on my uh, document, you see it's having 19 numbers over there. But when it comes to printing, you will need to organize your work and uh, put it in the same line. Just like when you try to look on my work, you see, this is page page one of two. You see I aligned um, exercise one, exercise two, three, four, and then I have another page, just the way, uh, just like the way you're seeing on the shared screen, you see? Now, when you when you come back on the model space, you see everything is disorganized. But you, when you come to the layout, that's where you try to organize your uh, produced work. So as I uh, as I notified you, the target was to see that I can understand the drawings for telecom sector very well. Now, from all the information you learn uh, and what I learned. Uh, now I can come up, you see this is the first page. It's like the layout, it's having information. Uh, the site details, um, the what shows the, within the pack of what we're going to work on the drawings, some details of the coordinates. Um, when you come here, design information, the basics of the soils which we are going to work on. And after there, we're having the layout, the, the table of content, just like the way you see when we do in Microsoft Word, still this is workable. It's like the web, when you're trying to make your title block, this is a walkover. You list that on page one, remember when I'm going to print this drawing, I'm going to print just like the way here up to 10 pages. Uh, then after knowing uh, the few basics here and there, then you can be able to come up with the title block, just like the way you see in Microsoft Word. Then we have page one, you see now I'm trying you are trying to organize all the work which you need. Uh, you see, these are Google Photos, which is not difficult. Just like the way when you learn to insert in photos, you can be able to insert in those photos and just creating these arrows, it's a walkover. As you train, you can uh, you can learn how to change the color, how to put the text in any different direction which you want, just like, like the way you see on the shared screen. That is page one. When you look on page two, you're seeing some well uh, organized information. And when we go back in the model space, still you can find this within here. Or if it's not there, still you can put, uh, when you look here, you see, this is the detail. When I come to my page two, it's the same thing which is here. So uh, AutoCAD is not that difficult when you give it time and one day, one time, it can bring something on the table. Um, when you see, still this is a walkover. As long as you can uh, produce this in the model space, coming and pressing it in the layout, it's not difficult. There are some different automations which you learn with time, different paper sizes. Once you have your layouts, you can keep on uh, putting in the information which you want. When you look on page four, Remember, as I'm projecting, you see, each page has different details. Like when we come back here on the layout, on the layout here, you see, on page zero, it will be the drawing list. Page two, page one, it would be site location plan. And when I come on page two, you see how the site is located and different few descriptions which are there. When we come back here, you see site layout. Site layout is page three. When I come on my page three, you see how the site is laid out, how the tower will be placed, how the cable tray will be placed, how the VBS will be placed. And 
as you go on, you're getting different information as per the site layout. That the last page, which is page page 12, it will be having a tower foundation drawing. When you come to 12, you see, uh, to page 10, when you come to page 10, you see how the tower will be looking like and the uh, given height for the tower. So uh, in short, from the training that I did get, I can come up with such drawings uh, rather than the other time when I could even call someone, I need some few adjustments and no one could bail me out. And it's not only that, because we are having uh, very many uh, projects, uh, but all those projects need those skills. The other one was a tower. But when we come here, we have what we call smart poles. The smart poles, um, just simple drawings. If you've ever passed by town, uh, there are some uh, poles which are giving uh, 5G internet all over the town. So when you come here, still you see, when you try to look at this, uh, Mansul had posted how to design a load junction. Now you see, we are blending two things. We are blending civil works, we are bringing in road construction. It's not road construction, but you are going to display how the road looks like. Now this is a street, a given street, and you're having different manholes running, the fiber cables and the power cables. So a lot of information which you can come up with. When you try to see here, this is information from the parent site, how the tower is placed and everything is pressed. But when you come onto here, you're seeing now this is a layout of um, a building. You see roof slab, you, feed, you, you see different Lord Street, Bench One, Car, John's, John, Johnstone, and many, many others. So you add up a lot of components. After knowing that, then you say walk over. You see here, this is a walkable route, whereby I think this one was extracted from the Google Maps. You bring a photo, you come up with your sketch, and you leave the AutoCAD sketch over there. When you come to the cover photo, now the smartphone looks like this. So after training with AutoCAD, all this, it's a walkover. Because this is just a photo got from a drone, uh, drone drawing. You get your photo there. Yeah, you have your layout and all the information. When you try to look at this, this is a photo from Google Map, whereby these lines are just drawn in. Or you can put this information within from um, the, Google, the Google Earth. So uh, when, when, when you look on the street, like when you come here, there is a lot of information whereby when you look here, it's not rocket science. You see the naming of the streets, the putting on the poles. So once you have those basics, it's just a brand. When you get any difficult, you share and all can be done. So that's, that, that is what I can share in short. Uh, what I did benefit in after having the, the program running. And uh, from this vividity, I have within my know, I know if I concentrate on to coming up with the drawings for the building, I can't fail. And I know as time go on, you are going also to do these 20 numbers and even more, just for your own practice. And for me, when I try to look at this, I don't see ourselves like we retain ourselves and see no for me i'm going to look at mechanical drawings no like we are having a lot of free time whereby we can be expertise in in card technicians i've not seen that around uganda seeing that these are card technicians the architects are there but also we can come up even if it's not an association but for you you know when you go to come up with any given drawing you can come with it nicely and the client just do approve because from all this when you try to look on uh, with these components you see in either what i did share you will need to come up with a circle you will need to come up with a line you will need to put dimensions you need some writing you need to change the layers and from 
from all these numbers which you come up and you do, it's just a matter of keeping on consistent, being consistent, you do practice. And I really know that if you're given a chance, you can't fail to produce any given drawing. Um, and so I think that's what I could share with you and everyone who is on the call. The microphone is back to you. Unless anyone has a question that I will need to answer, address to me. Thanks. All right. Thank you, Abib, for sharing. <laughs> so, do you have uh, any questions? Yes, I can see Sebcom joined. Thank you for joining. Uh, Welcome, Mansur. Yes. Uh, maybe I've, I've come a bit, I've joined a bit late. Mm. Uh, but I want to thank you for this initiative. Actually, I, I think I've missed a lot. <laughs> uh, not so much. We are just trying to showcase like what you can learn and the importance. But what is more important is in case you have other people that are interested or you also you are interested in learning, mm. we have a batch that is going to start uh, in July next week. Mm. Yeah, so you can join most of the sessions be online and we do within a month. Yeah, but every week we can do like two sessions or according to the people that I'm having. We just do in agreed time. Okay. Yeah, every session can be like one to two hours. Uh, take you through then after you. You now, now is, um, Yes. Now let me who has some skills in AutoCAD and I would like to reinforce my skills. I don't know whether I have uh, a different program for us or I start from scratch with AutoCAD. When you want to ad like advanced AutoCAD. Yes. Yeah, advanced AutoCAD also, we do it. Most especially now, like, maybe you're already well confident with the layers, but how do you, like, deal with very many layers? Then how do you dimension very fast, express tools, like those advanced skills? Eh? Okay. So we can also have, like, a separate program. But not only AutoCAD, there are also other programs in case you're interested. There is okay. a SketchUp Pro for... 3D rendering, then there is Revit structure, Revit architecture. Yeah, then also Mansoul. project management. Yes. Mansoul. Yes. Just, yeah. just to cash to cut you short, Sebcom Seb Construction Company, thanks for joining. Uh, for me, what I'm seeing in this, uh, just like the way we had our beginners, because like you can give him a highlight because I know if he had the skills before, you just need to shine him. Even if we have a session for one hour and he sees this is this, this is this, then we can have a continuous program. Now you see for me, I'm, I displayed telecom, telecom related structures. But we, if we have an assignment, now we are looking on the construction. We are coming up with buildings for the building. You see, we can have a session whereby he can come, he explains, right? like we, if we have a group and we are saying we are moving, we are shining as a group, eh? we are sharing this information widely. When he comes in, he shows his drawings for the building. If we can try it, we can have multiple assignments. That's when you can have a broader knowledge and you can, who knows, we can come up with amazing um, drawings which we couldn't even Im imagine. So what I'm saying, if I started with the beginner's class. If there is a master's class, we can we can say just a little subscription. Let it be 200. We will be having other session for the continuous master's class. Just over the weekend, you are at home Sunday. If we agree Sunday at 3 p.m., let everyone join in. We are going to have a master's club, a class for uh, AutoCAD. Let it be anyone can take us through. And uh, we keep on, and we motivate others as well. I've, I've seen a photo of him. He's on the construction site. If we are not busy, we can visit. We see how does it look like. And you never know. He can be a busy businessman. He's not there to see all the details, but he would like to prove 
the drawings which are shared to him. But you never know. Today, construction works are here. The next day, you're not going to be having a building. You will be, uh, you yourself, you do your own drawings. You try to you take to the architect to, to stamp on all the structure guide, to stamp on or to proof you. And then by time, you will learn to be a structure guy by not training, but by practice. Uh, okay. So I call on, I call in for, in that, in that sense. You do a like brainwash of that uh, training of 500, you go on to those details and then we say, okay, those who did the beginner's class, we are going to the master's class. Master's class, two hours every Sunday and we'll be good to go. Thanks. Okay. Actually, that is Clinton. You may be knowing him. Clinton, I might be knowing you. I'm called Habib, CM. I know Habib. <laughs> yeah, Kumbe, I'm talking with a Miyaya who knows me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> over, over to I you, know but... actually what you are talking about, uh, like your Kuyiba, if you're going now with drawings, work at Nafe Toy, your room, what we now recite with Tambula. You actually want to room to Zungira Numo, Achka, D. At first, I used to use a uh, uh, AutoCAD, Nayenga, and Twalo would the one would produce drawings, not Twalo watch the Kimova proving that. But nowadays, I use more of ArchCAD. Yeah, uh, you, have to, uh, you, you see, yeah. now you are having ArchCAD because it's like sharing more of the knowledge. If you have ArchCAD, you can say no, now these days, ArchCAD, but AutoCAD will never fade. You go in the mm. camp, however much you know your Archicad, you can uh, you can make the drawings look good, but for them, they will tell you, for us, we don't want to know that. Produce mm. it in AutoCAD. So we couldn't do those skills, just like the way you see when you go to those companies that do employ, employ they will say, we are giving you a manual car. But you will not say, for me, I know automatic. Mm. Mm. Yes, to you now, you have all around school. That's why uh, M1E will ask you, do you have the drawing so that I can press in my information and then you trouble him to do everything mm -hmm. in scratch. I think it's so good to have the ArchCAD drawn plan and have also the AutoCAD drawn plan. I did see you get even a photo on Pinterest. You put mm -hmm. it as you do sketch, you get your drawings in AutoCAD. Let's at, at least let's have a plan. For the views and everything, I can go to ArchCAD and I bring with two programs. Over to you. Okay, thank you, Abib. Welcome, Clinton. All right. I think Ruth is not in position to talk. Yeah, but I did see her text here. She said, uh, thanks, thank you for sharing, Habib. I think she's following. Maybe she can't respond to us, but I know she is on and uh, she's moving at the same same level where we are. We are. And I know Clinton also welcomes the idea. Um, so nothing stops us. Maybe if Luth, if Clinton is not on the group, and then what I would notify to all of you if we have people in the group and they are not showing their consistency, we will, we will give in a timeline because uh, we have to move with people who are, who are having the vision. If someone cannot believe in you when you are starting from scratch, then how will you build up what you want? If someone is on the WhatsApp group, never shared, uh, maybe I will not join because of time, uh, has not brought a computer to to change the software, has, has not shared his work, has not talked to you personally to see the payment plan. For me, my view, even if someone doesn't have the 200 to give it to you, but it goes it goes on with the commitment. Does he show uh, that he is vibed up to carry, to carry this task on? If he's ready, even if he gives you 50,000, for me, I have no problem with that. But we need to move as a group. Cliff might be having a construction site. And if he's having a construction site, he might need to, someone to go and do a spot check on what he's doing or to have any related information in what he's doing. 
Uh, you know, like when you give it five years, where do you want to be? You can be working for zero pay, but for you, you know, in five years, um, I'm doing a manual work on this building, but you're going to be a senior mason, or you're going to be a structure design, a structure personnel uh, by profession. Because remember, if you have the first basics, I have my diploma in civil, or I have my degree in construction management, that is the first entry that can enroll you in the given firm. After enrolling, they say, why should we employ a structure guy? Be into that, do ask for the work, and then they can look on a way how they can approve. Let it be we are not employed. You can do it on a steady full employment and still you bring in a lot of money. I know Cliff might be a subcon somewhere. That's what that's my submission. All right. Thank you so much. Yeah. Clinton, do you have uh, something to say? Uh, I don't have much to say for now. Maybe I'll, I'll, I'll keep in touch with you, Mansoor, and maybe I'll be so that I get more information about whatever I've missed, and maybe the, the details on how to join that group you are talking about. I'm, I'm going to add you to the group. Then also it may not be AutoCAD. You may be already welcome at that with AutoCAD, but you can just tell us like exactly what you want to like improve eh? Okay. Maybe it's better your arch card. Yeah, or maybe to better your rendering because I know sometimes you do renders with a Rumion. Yeah, I, I've not done with Rumion, uh, but I know I do my simple renders with the Atlantis. <laughs> I always survive with my Atlantis. Yes, I can but show you other ways of how you can do maybe renders even faster. Mm. With another tool because the the goal is for you to be able to do your work you sub you've subcontracted or you you have some building you're supposed to like construct but you need the client or like you need to submit the render i can show you how you yeah, like, do those faster like right now i i, I sometimes do uh, designs for bush lodges i mm. don't know whether i did as an idea on the bush lodge bush lodge designs it's my first time. It's what? It's my first time to hear that, but I will be glad to see how it looks like. Yeah. So sometimes the, those people need the eye handy, fitted the artistic impressions. Mm. Yeah, which need the good rendering programs like Rumion. So sometimes it's a challenge. Yeah. So I would like to to have uh, get more knowledge on how to right. have good renders okay. or artistic impressions, yes. Cliff, right. for, yes, me, for me, what I'm seeing here, uh, we are having all the resources that we need. We have no excuse, because mm -hmm. if it means dedicating a Sunday or a Saturday, and we join up and we give this gentleman tuition because he trailed to learn all these things, he shouldn't mm -hmm. give us free service. I know we can learn any software in engineering, just the, like the way he is. We can learn all the information we need, just like we, we don't see like we can't uh, be consistent, we can't give in time, but if we give it time, we can learn mm. all the skills. I know with the, his other gentleman, Andrew, they know, I don't know any software in, in engineering that they don't know. They know everything. Mm. So we can be all round people. For me, what I wanted, I wanted us to move in steps. AutoCAD, we are okay. After AutoCAD, ArchCAD, you are okay. Levit, you are okay. You go to project management, you are okay. You go everything and we are full package. You get it? Kubanga, Joe Iribida, what is different in Aja Iribida? You might find his passion. He doesn't want to be employed at any one time. And he doesn't want subcon like his talent. He wants to train people. So once we subscribe, we as we, and we become mm. an example. Because this thing, it's not when when for me, I look at it, at at it in a big view. You see, mm. we started we started technical drawing. 
Yeah. Or whatever is display, displaying, it's technical drawing. But see, you study technical drawing for six years. From senior one up to senior six, you never seen uh, how to use AutoCAD on a computer. Now you look at a big market which you are having. There are a lot of technical schools which need these services, you see? And you are not going to fade out these skills for, uh, just like that. Even if you are seeing a lot of boys doing those Atalantis and coming up with those drawings, still there is something lacking, that professionalism. So if you have the starting point, you can shine in everything. And he might now, let's say, it's like what we were discussing last time, that if they say his site has to be with the construction manager, do you have the right number to fill all, this, all those positions? We can't. The space is big. Even if you say that employ, employment is difficult these days, what if tomorrow things change? Don't you think works are being done? Have, you've been seeing what was happening in Kampala. Buildings are collapsing. When you look, uh, uh, masons are the ones supervising the buildings. Mm -hmm. You just give it an ease. After uh, things like the building committee coming up and lots of uh, people coming mm -hmm. on board, people realizing what was a mistake and you never know they could say someone to come up with a drawing a basic you have to be with a bsc you get it cliff yes, so you exactly. tell your workers tell these boys who train with you it's high time if they pay tuition for 1.1 1 .1, huh? back to you okay. all right yes. thank you so much Yes, Kinta. Uh, you can proceed, Mansoor. Hey. Uh, yes. Actually, I was, we, I was uh, just going to cross. Yeah, we can okay. end here. But once in a while, I'll be like putting in these sessions eh, and we get to hear from different people. Yeah, so that okay. we can have uh, as many people as possible that can polish their card skills. Maybe in AutoCAD, ArchCAD, Revit, StudyPlo. Yeah, even some other people are interested in MS projects, especially those ones that are managing big projects. Primavera. Yeah, all that. Yeah, so I would like to thank everyone who has taken their time to join in. Maybe, Mansoor. Yes. We do have like time to go deeper into the structural analysis. Um, the Prota using the these Prota structure softwares, design softwares. We, yeah, we can arrange for that. We arrange and we try to do the structured drawings. Okay. He has everything that we need to make money. <laughs> yes, we just need to prepare for me. For me, what I'm seeing, let it be, he says, all the package it will take us three million. We'll not yeah. negotiate, even if I pay you one million and I be hustling. When Chukuba, when I get here money, uh, yeah. also I'll be seeing my progress. Even, even you see, uh, Mansoor, one day, one time, you told me you get opportunities. And since you can stretch and you can't stretch yourself uh, more, you keep on chasing. You say, I'm busy. Now you look into your good student. He makes that work. Then as I'm not yet paying, you say, okay, for this, you are reduced on this to cover this up. You see? Exactly. So for me, for me I say, you can yeah, come up with... We are not with, 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 <laughs> Yes. Yes. <laughs> So uh, at least I can ask. teach someone arch card. <laughs> yes. And some two things in AutoCAD. Hmm. So Mansoon, it's you to say that for me, I will have time for you. After this program, you get to the next program. As after this program, like that, like that. For me, I'm there and I'll look for the money. If I get 100, I give you 50. Not even. If I get 200, I give you one bit. Not whatever, but for me, I want to be all around. Thanks. Thank you for sharing. I can see Mugume, you've just joined. Yeah, but this recording, I'm going to upload it and guess you you need to listen to it or watch it. I'll give you the link.
Yeah, but thank you for joining though we are concluding. But we would like to hear from you which which skills would you like to, to learn, the card skills or the software I would like to learn. Muguma is there. Thank you. I think maybe he's not in position to communicate back if he's he if he's uh, working anywhere because remember it's office time and people are almost closing up. But I know he might be hearing us. So uh, if he's part of us and he wants to join, you can put him in the WhatsApp group. Maybe he will pick on as time comes. But I know Ruth, uh, Cliff, just put them in the group. They will love what we are talking about and they love the movement. All right, so we're going to end here. We shall, I think we shall be hosting more of this, but like over the weekend, like on a Saturday or even a Sunday. And uh, we talk more because all oh, we, we hear from, because maybe now like Clinton is uh, having uh, like a need to go deeper into structured drawings, then also the artistic impression, 3D impressions. And so if you, feel, if you hear that and you get to know, okay, someone has, a, they have maybe a need to do this and this, we can always prepare those sessions or even do the work for you as you also learn. Yeah, that also works. Team Kujiriba, Cliff Ngaomura, Oxolo Kuna structures, no Janet to see some organo priority when they are telling you to collection. It's not in bulk. Simple, simple few stuff. Cliff, see you too. But see, the enough for now. Ka 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 ka. Kila anti bengi diba. Jamu funa. Okale te bushkoshos. Okale te wano. Okale te tu kakola fena ne tu sa suria tuition. Namusa jane tu kakola ngawe tu yonge ro kujiga ngafo sa suria. Mera na bu na bu mu kalera anti la buga ba na esi. But then ya kene zaka when I am ready to be on board in all rounds, then you are Right. Yeah. Thank you all for joining. Uh, we're going to stop here and we shall be communicating more in the WhatsApp group. Perfect. Okay. Thank right. you, Abib and Mansur. You're welcome. welcome. Thank you, everyone. Nice so greetings to Chamwendo Ruth. She's hey. here. <laughs> All right. Bye.